Hi, my name is Larry Nelson. I'm the Senior Account Manager for EMU Systems. I handle the Midwest and the East Coast. Today we're here to talk about the EMU Patch Mix software. This is the software that comes with all of our hardware solutions for the PC, desktop, and laptop. This is the mixer that you use to access the hardware accelerated effects which come with each of these systems. Uh, we're the only company in the world that gives you hardware accelerated effects on the, on the card, on the laptop systems, or on the chip, on the PCI-based systems. And this is the way that we access those effects and how you mix your audio right in your PC. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you'll notice, the patch mix looks just like a mixer, which it is. It is a mixer. Pretend it's the mixer on your desktop. And it's just sitting to the side of your PC, and that's how you route audio in and out of your DAW out of your MIDI sequencer, your CD-ROM player on your PC. You'll notice you can have different strips, mixer strips. Here is strip one. The input to strip one in this case is ASIO out one and two. This would come from Cubase, from Sonar. This would be your input to strip one. You can create up to 17 strips, 15 of them stereo, two of them mono. You have six insert points. Each of these insert points can be a, you can have a peak meter, you could have your effects, and you could have a send and return from each of these strips. You also have your pan for each strip, your aux sends for each strip, your gain, your mute, and your solo, and you can name each of your strips as well. Again, you can have up to 17 of these, 15 are stereo input strips, two are mono mic input strips. We'll notice that the second one says dock mic line A. This is a mono strip. This is if you plug your microphone into your preamp channel on your audio dock for your laptop or for your um, PCI card solution. Again, your aux sends, your six insert points, your, your volume, your mute, your solo. We also have six inserts at the mains if you want to do some mastering. And again, these are mastering grade products. We have signal noise ratio as good as 120 dB. Uh, we also have sends at the mains, and you have your monitor sends, your sync, and you have this big TV screen over here on the right-hand side. This is, allows you to do several things. First, we'll look at our inputs. This allows us to monitor. Right now, we're monitoring our physical inputs. It says at the top, dock mic line A is strip 2, and if we look over there, it's correct. If we look at dock mic line B is strip 4, we look over there, that's correct. Why do we have this monitoring system? Well, because if you have all your strips completed, you can't necessarily see all of them at one time. So this allows you to monitor what physical inputs are going to that strip. You can also monitor your host inputs. In this case, it says wave left and right going to strip one, I'm sorry, going to strip three, and there it is, wave left and right. So again, you can monitor your inputs from your host applications as well. If we click on outputs, we can, our physical outputs, these are either on the PCI card or on the audio dock, you can either have a main send or a monitor send or nothing. So this is where you set up what is going out your physical outputs. Your host outputs, we don't have any set up, maybe I'll create a send right here. I'll send this to ASIO in 3 and 4. And now when I highlight that, it shows me I do have a, a host send going to ASIO 3 or 4. So this allows you to set up to monitor what you've created um, as far as in, um, inputs go. I'm sorry, outputs go. The other use for the TV screen is a really big deal. This is the hardware accelerated effects, which we have talked so much about and I'm sure you're all aware of. EMU offers you hardware accelerated effects, no load on your CPU, up to 16 simultaneous 32-bit effects. You simply click on the effects button and you get your effects palette. Here I can have core effects. Maybe I want to drag a three-band EQ to my first strip. Okay, there's that. I can drag, maybe I want to drag a light reverb over to this strip. Whatever I can do, whatever I want to assign, I just simply drag and drop. Now, if I want to do some tweaking or editing, I simply highlight the effect, and it shows me all the editing parameters I have available to myself. I can certainly change any one of these to taste, and then I can 
save that as a user preset with its own name in the library. We include hundreds and hundreds of preset effects, and that's under the pull-down menu called Presets. There's a smiley curve, there's a bottomizer, kind of a low-end boost, and you have all these different choices for your three-band EQ, and you can use any one of these effects and you can even edit those and save those. Also, same with the reverb. I can adjust my reverb to taste, or I can use one of my many, many, many hundreds of presets. So it's pretty handy. So that TV screen allows you to edit your, your effects um, and save them into the effects library. And you can do that on any channel, and you can have up to 16 simultaneous stereo effects. Your audio will be coming in on Strip 3's case from maybe your CD player in your PC. On Strip 2's place, you're going to be coming in from the microphone input on the audio dock. On Strip 1, it's going to be a send from one of your software programs, maybe from Cubase, from uh, Sonar, whatever you're using for your DAW. So that's a quick rundown. It's real simple. It's a, it's a really cool little app. It's always active. All you do is, is click on your uh, little emu icon. It opens it up. Close it. It just goes right back to where it was. All right, so that's the patch mix software, no latency mixer, 32-bit uh, stereo effects, and you can have up to 16 simultaneously, no load on your CPU. Thanks very much.